Everybody, what's good? This is Kevin, aka The Serious Man, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about setting up your iOS 16 lock screen. This is my ultimate iOS 16 lock screen guide. I wanna talk about some tips, some tricks that I use to get mine set up, and near the end of the video, we'll go over some of what I feel are the best apps for adding custom widgets to your lock screen and getting the most out of it. So if you guys enjoy tech content like this, do me one quick favor, give the video a like, subscribe, and let's dive right in. All right, so from the jump, what we've got here is this iOS 16, and you easily can set your screen up from one of two ways. You can do it either in the settings or from the lock screen itself. And what we're gonna do is press and hold to get it on the lock screen. And when you guys do this, this is where all of your widgets, not your widgets, all of the lock screens that you set up will be saved here. But if you're just installing it from the first time, you're not gonna have anything saved here. So what you're gonna have to do is press this blue plus button and you're gonna come up with this screen. Now, I love the new menu that Apple has taken to, you know, make it easier for us to select lock screens. And you have these different categories here at the top, and you can also scroll up and down to see them as well. So going from the top, you've got a photos category, which will bring up people and places that iOS fails will make good selections for your wallpapers. The same thing here is with people, it just narrows it down to people. Photo shuffle is really cool. So what this will do is that you can select photos that you feel are gonna be good for your lock screen based upon certain categories for like people, nature, and cities, and select what frequency the iOS will shuffle these out. There is also a new emoji wallpaper, which is pretty awesome. With this, you can select up to six different emojis and configure them the whatever way that you feel. And then also swipe from left to right to change out the patterns. You can use this button here to change out whatever color background you feel that you want to use. That is pretty cool. Next up is one of my favorites, and that is the weather wallpaper. Now this one is pretty awesome because it shows you the weather in real time based upon where you're at. And if you look real closely at the top, you can see that there's sort of an animation there. So that is pretty awesome if you like to see the weather. We also have an astronomy wallpaper this one here gives you different views of the earth, depending on where you are. So with that green dot, and which is important too, I also forgot to mention that when you first activate this wallpaper, you're gonna to have to turn on location services so that it knows where you're at. That's the only way you're gonna see that green dot right there. But with this one here, it shows you a real-time view of what the earth looks like, depending on where you are, and you can swipe left to right to see different views. So I have this one here, this one's closer. I've got the moon, moon in detail, and then you got the solar system. Super dope. And last but not least is color. So with this one here, you select the color that you like. I can go with that one there. And then use this slider here at the bottom to adjust how light or dark you want the saturation to be. Press on X to confirm it, and then swipe left or right to go through these different filters. If you don't like the gradients or anything like that, you can go all the way to the last and you see a solid color. And that's pretty awesome. Those are the new wallpapers. That is really cool and super dope how easy it is to set these up. So as I said, all these lock screen wallpapers do have different categories. And to find those categories, you can either go through here at the top of the screen and swipe from your left to right, or find them by going from up and down like this. And when you're swiping from up and down and going through this list, you have all the presets that Apple has pre-installed into iOS 16. Now, one of the crowd favorite things that people like to do with these wallpapers is one, swipe through, and some of them have actually filters. Let me find one that does, like the Unity wallpaper here has a couple of different settings. You can swipe from left to right and change those filters out. Here's another one where you can swipe from the left to right, change out the background, and you know which wallpapers have those by looking at these dots here at the bottom of the screen. Another crowd favorite on top of that is applying what's called a death effect to certain wallpapers. So depending on what the wallpaper is, you can have the subject of the wallpaper in front of the clock. As you can see right here, it has a sort of a death effect where the clock looks like it's behind it. It gives your wallpaper more of a 3D look, which is pretty awesome and one of the favorite features of these lock screen wallpapers in iOS 16. Now, a couple of things to know about this is that if you're gonna use a wallpaper with the depth effects, you can't have any of the four widgets that are gonna be here at the bottom. 
And to find out if your wallpaper does have that depth effect, well, just look for a picture that has a good subject inside of it and tap on the customizing button here. And if you see that depth effect check, you know that your wallpaper has it. You can turn that on and off by either adding widgets to this selection here, or just simply turning off the depth effect. I uh, don't think I hit that. There you go. So once you turn it off, you can see you bring the clock in front of it. I'll turn it back on and it adds that cool depth effect. So now that we've seen all the wallpaper categories, let's go over how easy it is to get one set up. Right from the lock screen, all you've got to do is press and hold on it. You can either scroll all the way to the right till you find this option for add new, or tap on the blue plus button here to come up to that same menu that we just went over. This is kind of similar how it is and done in the settings. After going through your categories and finding out which lock screen that you like the most, I'm gonna use this one here from the classic iOS back in the day. Pick on that and then go through configuring all your new widgets. This one, we're not gonna go over the widgets just yet, so let's just go ahead and tap on Add. And then once you're done, you get the options to either use this as a wallpaper pair, which means that your wallpaper lock screen and the home screens are gonna be the exact same thing, or customize the home screen individually. So for this example, we will go to customize the home screen, and then you come up with this selector here to get your home screen set up. Now this is pretty cool because your lock screen and your home screens could be individual images separate of each other. If you're setting this up in the settings, you can simply choose to keep it as the original. We're not gonna do that. Let's see what happens if we tap on color. It applies a solid, solid color to your lock screen, which can be changed by tapping on color once again, bringing up the selector. And again, you can use the slider here to adjust the saturation and as well as pick out whatever color it is that you like. Tap on the X to confirm it. There's also a color gradient option, which will add a gradient to whatever color that you like. Tap on color, select which one that you want. And again, if there is a color that's not pre-selected that you wanna use, all you've got to do is tap here to bring up that selector, find your color, tap on the X, adjust the saturation, Tap on the X again to confirm it, and you're all set. Photos is another option here. So if you tap on that, you can bring up a selection of your photos. So again, these are people, places, and things. I can tap on the picture. And what's cool about your photos is again, you can swipe through to adjust whatever filter it is that you wanna use on that photo. You can pinch to crop it, so make it larger, make it smaller, your choice. And tapping on this button here, or bring up the death effect if there's a good subject in that photo. You can also do style color to change out that filter and then again, swipe through to customize it. Once you are okay with your settings, you're gonna tap on done. It's gonna take you back here, give it a second to load up. And now another cool thing with these photo options is that you can apply a blur effect by turning this either on or off let me show you so tapping on right here it's on now it's off so that means is when you come to your home screen you're gonna blur out the photo a little bit giving a nice kind of blur effect bringing up the sharpness of your icons which is, again is super dope tap on done your wallpaper is going to be saved and then you select it Another good thing to mention here is on this screen, if there are wallpapers that you don't want anymore, all you have to do is simply find that wallpaper, swipe up, tap here. It's going to ask you if you want to delete that wallpaper, tap on delete, and then it is done. And it'll go back and find another wallpaper that you like. All right, and now that we know how to set up the wallpapers on iOS 16, let's go through how to set up the widgets. So I'm gonna start by pressing and holding. We're gonna find a wallpaper that doesn't have any widgets on it. And again, it's kind of the same thing you do when you're going to your settings. So I'm gonna to go to customize this time around. And then from here, you're gonna highlight your three sections for your widgets. We have one here at the top, middle for the clock, and a bottom selection place. Tapping the top slider option here 
you can see that you've got all the widgets that you have currently installed on your device. And there are a lot of plenty more that we'll cover later on in the video that are available in the app store as of right now. You can select a widget. And from here at the top, it's pretty cool that no matter what widget you select, it's always gonna have the date there available for us you to see, so you'll never lose that. Tap on the X, the same thing here in the middle, I'm oh, sorry, here in the bottom. So with this section, you're gonna select up to four of these smaller widgets or two large or a combination of, I think it is, okay, so we're gonna do one large, one small, and two large, there we go. So you can select and customize the widgets here. You got some pre-selects scrolling there are gonna be all the widgets that you have. And I have some pre-installed widgets again, we'll cover in just a minute. And then once you're done, tap on the X, you're good to go. Now the clock widget is pretty unique on its own right because when you select that, you can see that you've got eight different fonts of clock letters that you can use. Tapping on this globe here will bring up three different languages for your clock fonts. And again, there is a slider here at the bottom. Tapping on the color brings up the saturation Scrolling all the way to the right, brings up a color selector where you can select whatever color we want. Tap on X, change saturation, which changes the color of all of the widgets on the screen. Tap on the X, tap on done. It's gonna ask us if we wanna use it as a wallpaper pair or customize the home screen. We're gonna do that, come back to the screen, and then from there, we were all done. Pretty easy. So ever since iOS 16's release is on Monday, developers have been adding apps to the App Store that you can use to customize your lock screen and just make it a lot more fun in general to use. A lot of these apps have custom widgets, so let's take a second and go over some of the ones that I've been using. Starting here with the countdowns widget. You simply open that up, I already had it open up actually because I was getting in some practice. But from this screen here, you can add any countdowns to specific events or any upcoming anniversaries, holidays, things like that. Simply by tapping on here, going through these fields to select and fill out however it is that you want your countdown. And then once you've got that all set up, go back to your lock screen, customize, go to widgets, and then find the countdowns. And you can select the size of your widget as well. For me, I've already got one set up, counting down to my anniversary. So I'm gonna use that one there. You place it and you can see it carries the same look and feel that the stock iOS widgets already have. Tap on done. You're gonna set it. All right, cool. So let's go to another one. How about current is one. And I'll be sure to put links to all these in the description below. But current is one that's pretty cool because you can use these letters and you can select up to four characters to spell out any kind of four letter word that you want to display on your lock screen. To add letters, simply tap on the plus button here, add a letter, there you go. And then once you're done, you simply go back to your lock screen, customize widgets. We're gonna go to current. And again, you can add any of the letters or select the custom for this, which is pretty cool. Favorites is the third app that we're going to cover. And with this one here, you can simply add contacts to your lock screen and then simply tap on that contact to either be able to send that person a message, call them, FaceTime them if they are somebody with an iPhone. After selecting a contact, you can go in here to your plus button to add a contact. You go back to your lock screen, customize, tap, and then find favorites. Yep, there's also one for, with, for Facebook available right now too. So favorites, select the widget size. I've already got that. And as you can see, show you guys what it looks like after you set it up. When I tap on it, it goes straight to here where you can either call a message and since this person, my wife has uh, another iPhone, we can go to FaceTime and contact them there. I think that's pretty awesome. So another one that I like to really take advantage of and use is the app called Hello Weather. It's a pretty dope weather app on its own if you want to use it and interested in guys. I'll again, I'll be sure to leave links to all these apps in the description. 
But once you've gone through and set up your location, you've got it, things going to the way that you like. To add it to your lock screen, let's just go back here, tap on customize, go to the small area there. And this is one of those weather widgets that has a small one here. So you can tap and add a small one there. Or if you want, you can add one to the larger slider area of the top. I've already got one done. And then once you're done on that, tap done, go there, set it up. All these weather widgets and all these widgets that are accessible from your lock screen, if you tap on them individually, it takes you to that app, which is pretty cool. And then over the last one here is one called Launchify, which is my favorite. From there, this app allows you to add, um, add a widget to your lock screen that you can use to access any app. You're gonna come to this screen, you first open it up, tap on the plus sign to get set up and add any app that you want. Once you've found an app, they're all gonna appear right here. We're gonna go back to the lock screen, customize, tap there, and then look for Launchify. I'm gonna tap on that to add it. But see, I've already got one set up for Instagram, so I wanna add that one there. Let me get rid of this other one. There we go. All right, cool, so once you're done, set it up as a wallpaper paired and then again with the Launchify app you can access any of your apps directly from the lock screen simply by tapping on it and there you go you're all cool you're set all right and that wraps things up for this guys i do appreciate you watching and thank you so much for being with me just far uh, once my iphone 14 does get here i'll be sure to do an unboxing video of that so make sure you are subscribed and you make sure that notification bell is on when that video is dropped but I want to know, what are your thoughts on iOS 16 thus far? Are you enjoying it? Are you not? Be sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter and share a picture of your screen configuration so I can get some ideas for myself as well because, you know, people want to know those things. Until next time, appreciate you watching. Stay safe and until next one. Peace.